As the Butler women's swim team prepares for the Big East Championship in Ohio, reporter Taryn Plowman takes us to the HRC pool to interview swimmer Emily Motil. And that's all the time we have for this week's edition on The Bark. Tune in next week as we sit down with baseball player Tyler Houston and reporter Zach Horrell gets a crash course in lacrosse. Now that we have taken you all across campus, let's focus our attention to Varsity Field, where Bark reporter Keelan Martin has the latest from the most recent women's lacrosse game. The Butler University men's tennis team started their 2018 season with a rocky start. Their first three matches resulted in the Bulldogs having a 1-2 and two record. Since then, Butler has moved their record to 5-2. and two. The last three matches, the Bulldogs defeated the University of Indianapolis, Youngstown State University, and the Valparaiso University Crusaders. The Bulldogs have still yet to play a conference match, but that hasn't stopped them from their four-match winning streak that they currently hold. The Dogs are traveling to West Lafayette, Indiana this Saturday, February 24th at 9 a.m. They will be taking on the University of Wisconsin Green Bay Flash the Phoenix, who have a record of 1-4 and four this season, and will be stepping onto the court with a three-match losing streak. They were defeated by the University of Wisconsin, Marquette University, and Northern Illinois University. Come out and support your dogs to hopefully get their fifth straight win in a row against the University of Wisconsin Green. The Butler University men's tennis team had some big matches last week in Orlando, Florida. The dogs started off their week strong with a dominating victory over Fairleigh Dickinson 5-2. The dogs then fell to Southern Mississippi 4-3 with a tough loss. They were sure to bounce back though. Focusing a lot on serving, the next day they beat Quinnipiac University 6-1, finishing out the tournament with a 2-1 record. They came out of this tournament improving their overall record to 10-4 so far this season. The Bulldogs have shown no struggles winning at home or at a neutral site with a record of 3-0 and 5-1 respectively. They have been practicing hard this week with a combination of practicing indoors at the bubble and getting some shots in on the outdoor courts as well. The Dogs travel to Muncie, Indiana next week to take on Ball State University. The match is next Wednesday, April 4th at 3 p.m. Come out and support your Bulldogs as they battle the Cardinals for an in-state rivalry match. That's it from us here at Hinkle Fieldhouse. I'm Keelan Martin. And I'm Ryan Roach. Join us next week as we dive deeper into March Madness. From all of us here at The Bark, thanks for watching. Tonight for The Bark, we are here at the corner of 43rd and Crown Street where there has been a recent carjacking. Cops are currently patrolling the area. The suspect was known to drive southbound in a red Chevrolet van. And we are here to try and find out more details. The carjackings were supposedly happening on this road and a little bit on 43rd Street. Tonight, reporting for The Bark, I'm Ryan Roach. Back to you, Keelan. Tonight we are here on Butler University's campus where this is the last week before finals start here. If you are stressed at all, check out the Butler Connection if you're a Butler student. There are many de-stressing activities that you can partake in, such as petting dogs and yoga. Uh, another friendly reminder is that Irwin Library is open 24-7 to be able to study, and there are quiet hours in effect for uh, the dorms such as Fairview, Resco, and Ross. So please be mindful of these and stay positive, stay focused. The summer is near. Back to you, Jim.